Kevin Durant is owner of arguably the biggest bag in NBA history, as his array of weaponry rivals even that of the late, great Kobe Bryant. But Durant was nearly half a foot taller than the Black Mamba. For a guy who led the league in scoring four times out of five years in his early 20s, you would think the sky would be the limit with all that he could have accomplished in his career. Yet the Slim Reaper is still searching for just his third ring in a career that has now spanned 15 years and counting. And his relative lack of success isn't for the lack of talent that he has played with throughout his career. As following the Phoenix Suns acquisition of Bradley Beal, Durant finds himself on the precipice of playing for his third career super team, a number that rivals even the king of super teams himself. Kevin Durant produced arguably the greatest freshman season in college basketball history. As in his one and only season with the Texas Longhorns, Durant produced eye-popping averages of 26 points and 11 rebounds per game while leading Texas to a 25-10 and 10 record in the regular season. Durant became the first freshman in college basketball history to be recognized as the unanimous National Player of the Year, winning the Wooden Award and the Naismith College Player of the Year Award. Despite the slew of individual accolades, the Longhorns would be ousted in the second round of the NCAA tournament in the face of legitimate national championship aspirations. Could this potentially have been a sign of things to come? Yeah, I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. After the disappointing early exit from the NCAA tournament, Durant would declare for the NBA draft. And once the Portland Trailblazers passed on him, opting to instead select Greg Oden at one, Kevin Durant would fall right in the laps of the Seattle Supersonics. With the second pick in the 2007 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Kevin Durant. And Durant would start lighting it up from an early age and stage in his NBA career averaging 20 points per game in his rookie season at just 19 years of age and route to being named Rookie of the Year. The Sonics would relocate to Oklahoma City the next year and select Russell Westbrook with the fourth pick in the 2008 draft. With the fourth pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Russell Westbrook. And the year after that in 2009, with a third pick in the draft, they would select James Harden. The Oklahoma City Thunder select James Harden. During this span of time, as the Thunder would be absolutely crushing it in the draft, Durant would emerge as arguably one of the best scorers in NBA history and was still just in his early 20s. In the 2009-2010 season, at just the age of 21, Durant became the youngest scoring champion in NBA history. He would lead the league in scoring four out of the next five seasons while finishing second in the 2012-2013 season. For perspective, Michael Jordan led the league in scoring 10 times in his NBA career, the most of any player ever. Will Chamberlain is second with seven scoring titles, and Kevin Durant checks in next with four. But he had accrued all four of his scoring crowns by just the age of 25. Despite becoming one of the best individual players in the world, winning league MVP in the 2014 NBA season, while playing with two other eventual league MVPs in Russell Westbrook and James Harden, Durant would manage to make just one finals appearance throughout his underwhelming nine-year tenure with the Thunder franchise. He would resoundingly punctuate his nine years of failures there in his final postseason run with the Thunder. Oklahoma City would run up against the greatest regular season team ever, the 73-9 Golden State Warriors in the 2016 Western Conference Finals. And the Thunder were eviscerating the 73-win Warriors, winning Game 3 by 28 points and Game 4 by 24 points to take a decisive 3-1 series lead. Durant would then play a pivotal role in perpetuating the massive choke job that would ensue, as in Game 6 at home, 
with a chance to close the series out and advance to the finals. The Thunder had an eight-point lead at the end of the third quarter. Durant would score just four points on one of seven shooting in the fourth quarter. And in game seven at the Oracle, the Thunder would lead by six at halftime before getting blown off the court to the tune of a 29-12 third quarter that would in effect end the game and the series. During the quarter, Durant scored just six points on two of five from the field. The Warriors, though, were clearly vulnerable and escaped to the NBA Finals only due to the gag job by Durant and company. Of course, the Warriors' luck would expire the next round when Kyrie Irving hit this game and series clinching shot. And during the course of the pending summer free agency period, Durant would decide to execute one of the biggest scumbag moves in NBA history. When KD was unable to resist the advancements of the Hamptons Five, a group of Warrior players who charted a private jet and flew to New York to court Durant, led famously by little Steph Curry, the greatest shooter ever, and he most certainly would shoot his shot at KD with the assistance of other key Warrior players. In Durant's defense, other prominent players of this era had already set the super team up precedent, most notably the chosen one, LeBron James. And unlike you know who, Durant at least actually delivered on the hype of his super team, easily winning the championship every season he was on the court with the Warriors while winning the finals MVP and destroying LeBron head to head when it mattered most. Alas, Durant would prove to be about as good of a GM as LeBron as he decided it was time to make a change after rupturing his Achilles in the 2019-2020 playoffs. Durant, inexplicably, would tie his wagon to this flat earther train wreck. Hilariously enough, the Nets would also add James Harden, who ate himself out of Houston, and the Nets would amass a team that many felt would form the next dominant dynastic pairing in the NBA. The Nets were substantial title favorites to start the 2021-2022 NBA season, a season that would end in the Nets getting swept in the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. In all, Kevin Durant would win just one playoff series in his entire Brooklyn tenure. What? And now it's off to Phoenix, where credit to Durant, he's the only one that gave the Nuggets an actual series in these most recent playoffs, as they were tied 2-2 against Denver. That's more than we can say about others this playoff season. And now, the Suns have acquired Bradley Beal, who, believe it or not, is just 29 years old and finished second in scoring back-to-back -back seasons just two years ago. The pairing between Durant, Booker, and Beal promises to be the most recent NBA super team. Durant, for his part, has posted career averages of 27 points per game, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists on 50, 39, and 89 career shooting splits every bit the equal of the other stat king of this era. But if the past can serve as any precedent with Durant, you shouldn't get your hopes up for him to win anything that really matters.